Welcome to the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast, where you'll learn the secret sauce, what it really takes to build a thriving mortgage business doing what you love, without relying on cold calling or annoying realtors. And now, let's join your host, Doran Aldana. Hey, what's up, everybody? Doran Aldana here, coming at you with another kick-ass episode from the Art of Mortgage Marketing Podcast. And as you can see, I'm rocking some scruff a duff duff Scruff McGruff. Apparently, I've been busy because I haven't had a time in the last few days, or at least that's my story that I haven't enough time to actually shave my chin. So it's getting mighty itchy, man. I'll tell you, I'm ready for a serious mow down. But uh, nonetheless, I'm coming at you raw, rugged, and real today with the Scruff McGruff look. And uh, I'm giving it to you real, like I always do. And today, we're going to talk about the biggest risks of not taking risks. The biggest risks in not taking risks. Because let's be real, human beings, we're self-protective. Part of our beingness, part of our energy, part of our wiring that God has knit into our DNA is to protect ourselves, right? Protect ourselves from perceived risks, from things that will steal our status, steal our talent, steal our time, steal our joy, steal our peace, steal our prosperity, steal anything that might take away. Let me ask you this. What would you do more to do? What would be more motivational for you? What would you have more energy and motive to follow through on, to go out there and make $10,000 or to protect yourself from losing $10,000? Chances are it's the protective option of losing. You do more to to prevent yourself from losing $10,000 than to go out there and create $10,000. So we will do more to avoid pain than we will to gain pleasure as a general rule. That's what it means to be human. That's how God wired us. Now, when it comes to being on the front lines of capitalism as a mortgage professional, that starts to play tricks on us because if we're heading to the east, heading east looking for the sunset or we're heading to the gunfight with a butter knife and we're unequipped and ill-equipped to win and we're completely asleep to how much money we're leaving on the table in terms of lost deals, lost opportunities, lost partners. All we know is our bank account is skimpy because what we're doing ain't working. We're noticing that we're working way too long for way too little And we're noticing symptoms that there is a problem, but we're asleep to how much money we're leaving on the table, then it seems at the moment of truth when it comes to actually investing in ourselves, instead of just doing it the hard way, trying to reinvent the wheel on our own, to invest in ourselves strategically, boldly, intelligently with a proven plan. So instead of having to reinvent the wheel, we got a plug and play system, everything done for us stick the key in the ignition, drive away. But when it comes to this moment of truth, when we're considering making a bold, intelligent, strategic investment in our breakthrough, it's easy to shrink back into fear. The terror barrier comes up. And all of a sudden, we start to shrink back. We start to contract. We start to think, what if this? What if that? What if it doesn't work? What if I end up losing my shirt? What if it ends up being a failure? What if... I invest the money and and, uh, it ends up just racking up my credit card and I got nothing to show for it. What if this is a massive step back in status? What if this is a massive step back in net worth? What if this is, you know what I'm saying, right? And so we get into this what if mode and we're focusing so much on the risk that we lose sight of the reward, right? We're focusing on all this risk of what could happen if it doesn't work out. What if it doesn't work out? What if... It ends up being a complete failure. And we lose sight of the reward of more deals, more income, more freedom, more prosperity, more peace, more power. And what we focus on expands, right? So whenever you focus on the risk, 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 what do you get more of? You get more risk. When you focus on the dream and the energy of the dream, the vibration of the dream, the glory of the dream, what do you get more of? You get more of that. So whatever you focus on expands. Now, let me ask you this. What do you want more of? Do you want more of the risk in your life? Do you want more failure in your life? Do you want more contraction in your life? Do you want more stagnation in your life? Chances are the answer is no. Otherwise, why would you be listening to or watching this podcast? 
What you want is more peace, power, poise, freedom, fulfillment, and fun, right? But if you're focusing only on avoiding risk, what's the chances you're going to have that reward? Chances are you're not, right? I mean, if you only play defense, imagine this. Imagine watching any type of team sport, whether it be basketball or hockey or football. And if all you do is play defense to the absence of offense, what's the chances you're going to win that game? Slim to none, right? Slim to none. Why? Because you can't win just by playing defense. You'll get no points. You'll have no advancement. You can't move forward on the scoreboard just by defense alone. You can only move forward on the scoreboard with having offense. Defense helps to prevent your competitors from taking market share, but offense helps you take market share. And if you're not growing, you're dying, right? So let's talk about some of these biggest risks of not taking risks because they're real for us. Let's be real. I've been there too. Should I or shouldn't I? Should I make this investment? Should I not make this investment? Should I play offense or should I play defense? Should I feel sorry for myself and try to just contract and, and play a safe game or should I expand and grow and take ground? And we all have those moments of truth. But the truth is, if we live a life of constraint and contraction, avoiding risk, we're going to play small and we're not going to fulfill our God-given calling. And a lot of people are not going to be reached. A lot of people are not going to be touched by your light and your love and the difference you make in the world. So that being said, let's talk about this, shall we? The first risk of not taking risks is no risk, no reward. No risk, no reward. If you think about it, any of your biggest wins in life came at a risk, did they not? Maybe it was a risk of you know, putting yourself on the line and asking your sweetheart for a date. Now you're married with kids like mine. I got four kids. That wouldn't have happened. 16 years of glorious years of marriage with my wife would not happen had I not taken a risk and wrote her a sales letter. I mean, a love poem, right? Had I not put myself out there and shared my heart of how I feel about her, I never would have had all the rewards of love and intimacy and connection and fun and adventure and the exquisite blessing of being a daddy and the exquisite blessing of being committed to someone and being a journeying partner in life with someone with my wife, had I not taken that risk. You have plenty of examples, more than you can shake a stick at, of the richest rewards in your life, whether it be business wins, whether it be personal wins, relational wins, maybe it was athletic wins, whatever it is in your life that you put on your brag book of the things you're most proud of in your life, I guarantee you, I guarantee you they came as the result of risks, stepping out into the unknown, taking a step of faith, walking out on a limb, and taking a bold step into the unknown. True? No risk, no reward. That's just how it works. So if you want to live a really small life, a really dull, drab, boring life, try to live a risk-free life. You know what that's called? It's called a life that was never truly lived. You come to the end of your life, you realize you never fully lived. You were walking dead. You were living dead. You were going through life playing defense, but not being fully alive in adventure, in power, in fulfillment, in joy, in love, in expansion, in creativity, in innovation. All of that expansion comes at some degree of risk. If you want to have love, you have the risk of rejection. You have the risk of heartbreak. That's the ultimate risk. But how could you ever enjoy and ever fully experience the bliss and the joy and the exquisite gift of love if you're not willing to take that risk? I don't know about you. I'd much rather live a dangerous life in risk and have the reward of love and adventure and peace and power and prosperity than to play it safe walk through life on eggshells and never have truly lived and ultimately living a life of regret. We're going to talk more about that in a moment. So no, re no risk, no reward. You know it, I know it. That's just simply the truth of the matter. The second biggest risk of not taking risks is 
The biggest risk is re- is not just rejection. That's what I was about to say, but that's not actually the deeper truth I want to share. The biggest risk is regression. What is regression? It's sliding backwards. You see, we're either growing or we're dying. There is no in between. We're either taking ground or we're giving ground up. We're either making progress or we're sliding backwards and we're stagnating. What happens when you stagnate? You start to rot. You look at water. I live right next to a river and there is an island right next to my house at the river. It's a man-made island called MacArthur Island. And there is a slough that goes around that island. Now there's amazing sports events, basketball, hockey, soccer, you name it, that happens. I don't think there's actually basketball, but there's definitely soccer and hockey and baseball. And around that island, there's water that's flowing through this man-made slough. And the beavers have set up a dam there. So all of a sudden, now that water has stagnated. Would you want to swim in that water? Would you want to drink from that water? The answer is hell no, you would not. It would make you sick. Chances are you put yourself at serious health risk because that water is rotting. It's full of duck poop and it's full of nasty. And because it's not moving and it's stagnated, it's starting to rot and it's a special kind of nasty as a result. We're the same way as human beings. If we're not growing, we're dying. So the biggest risk of you playing it safe and you contracting and trying to play in you know self-protective mode, playing defense all the time without playing strategic offense, is the regression of advancement, sliding backwards, not conquering new mountains, but climbing and sliding down old ones. That is not progress. Our greatest moments of fulfillment, our greatest moments of joy usually come not when we have the most in our bank accounts, but when we feel like we're making progress. Have you noticed that? Progress is the pocket. That's the sweet spot where all life and juice in life is. The opposite of that is stagnation and regression. And you know what precedes regression every single time? You guessed it. Fear of taking risk and letting that fear stop you and playing it safe and trying to stay in your comfort zone instead of conquering new ground and realizing the only true comfort zone, the only true lasting comfort zone that gives peace, power, poise, and prosperity is constantly to expand our comfort zone by stepping out of our comfort zone, by advancing out because Outside of our comfort zone is where all advancement and progress is. As soon as we try and stay inside of our comfort zone and say, you know what? That's too much of a risk. You know what? That's too uncomfortable. You know what? I don't want to take that inconvenience. I don't want to put myself in any kind of danger or push myself out of my comfort zone or expand out of what I'm used to experiencing because, frankly, I'm pretty comfortable right now. That's death rattle to happiness. Death rattle to advancement. Death rattle to living a life of joy and progress. So the biggest risk, one of the biggest risks in not taking risks is that stagnation regression. It happens every time if you're living in complacency, avoiding risk means you're stepping into regression. Simple as that. There is no in between. Here's another big risk. The reason not to risk is why you need to do it. So, for example, if you're wanting to get fit, one of the reasons why you might not want to take that risk is I don't like being in front of mirrors. It makes me self-conscious. I don't, I don't like being in front of all those mirrors because I feel like I'm inadequate. Or I don't want to go to the gym because, you know, all these other people are going to be judging me that I'm overweight. Whatever the reason is, I don't want to spend the money. I don't want to spend the time. Um, I don't like exercising. It hurts. Whatever it is, whatever the reason is, 
That's exactly why you need to do it. Because if you're feeling inadequate, it's because you're not taking care of yourself. And so there's a disalignment. Your identity is someone who wants to be healthy. Your identity is someone who wants to feel good in your body. And yet you're not aligned with your identity. You're not aligned with that value. That creates a sense of inadequacy. There's a cognitive disconnect. There's cognitive dissonance that happens that has you feel like you're not even measuring up to your own standards of how you want to live. That creates a sense of inadequacy, a sense of shame, a sense of guilt, a, a sense of not measuring up to your own standards. And then you project that on other people, feeling like other people are seeing you the way you see you. So if you see yourself that way, all of a sudden it's projecting on yourself. So the very reason why not to take the risk is the very reason why you need to, because the breakthrough is going to happen when you take that risk. And you say, you know what? I'm doing this for me. This is not about anyone else. I'm doing this for me. I'm doing this for my growth. I'm doing this to strengthen my muscle. I'm doing this for me to become a better version of myself. I'm doing this so that I can step into a better, smarter, more profitable, more effective, more fruitful way of life. Because I know if I want to have more, I want to, I need to become more. So whatever the reason is, I don't have the money, let's say, top cost too much money. That's exactly why you need to do this because your way ain't working. If you keep doing what you've always done, you keep giving to what you've always got. If you keep heading east looking for the sunset, we've got a problem. So the very reason, let's not confuse the problem with the solution to the problem. The problem is your way ain't working. It causes a symptom called not enough money in the bank account. The solution to the problem is to boldly, intelligently, and strategically invest in yourself with a proven plan so you stop heading east looking for the sunset. You stop heading to the gunfight with a butter knife. You get equipped with a freaking Uzi and you start to obliterate your competition. You, you take market share. You conquer your income goals and you give your family an abundant life. And now you have the muscle and the superpower to create a dream life, a life of freedom and power and prosperity. You see, the very reason why not to risk is the very reason why you need to. Does that make sense, guys? So it becomes this insidious blind spot where the very reason why we uh, are telling ourselves we can't or we shouldn't or we won't is the very reason why we need to because our way ain't working but it's in our blind spot, so it's insidious. That's why I'm doing this podcast, to bring it into the light so that you can start to make more intelligent decisions around how you're gonna create a breakthrough in your life. My mission for you is that you start stepping into kicking ass, taking names, chewing bubble gum, and crushing it at a whole other level. You start stepping into fruitful action, effective action, action that allows you to get straight to the outcome without messing around doing it the hard way getting straight to what works without messing around doing it the hard way. But guess what? Be, by virtue of the fact that that income is outside of your comfort zone, because if it was inside your comfort zone, you'd already be making that money. Any action, any investment, any specific expansion into that higher income is going to push you out of your comfort zone. You know what that means, right? It means there's going to be a terror barrier that says, don't do it. It's going to cost you. It's going to put you at risk. It's going to lower your status. It's going to lower your bank account. It's going to whatever, right? It's going to cost you time. It's going to cost you money. What if it doesn't work? And all of a sudden, that terror barrier sends you back to your comfort zone, sticking, sticking your tail between your legs and feeling like maybe I should just play it safe. Maybe I should wait. Maybe I should play defense. Maybe I should wait until I close a few more deals. Next thing you know, you're stuck in the same old rut, doing the same old thing, getting the same old results. The very reason why you tell yourself you can't is the very reason why you need to. And the most potently costly part of the process is you're wasting time. You can never get back on fruitless toil and activity that is not getting you to your outcome because you're heading to the gunfight with a butter knife. And so instead of being effective with your time, you're just burning and churning like a guinea pig on a guinea pig wheel. And here's the thing, you have no idea how much money you're leaving on the table. No idea how many tens of thousands of dollars you're leaving on the table doing it the hard way because if you got a trumpet blast alert every time you lost 
a thousand, five thousand, ten thousand dollars poaching or when deals got poached by your competitors because you're doing it the hard way and you're leaving deals on the table on your you know your database and you're not attracting the partners you could have because you're not approaching them the right way or you don't have the right follow-up system or all of the above it would make you sick to your stomach and you would have fixed it like that because that trumpet blast would be like a kick to the proverbial nuts and be like enough is enough no more i've had it i'm done with this but because it's easy to be asleep at the wheel and not be cognizant of how much money you're leaving on the table Days turn into weeks, weeks it turns into months, and next thing you know, nothing happens. And you're in the same old plot, place doing the same old thing. That's precisely why I'm reminding you with this podcast. The very reason why you say you can't do it is the very reason why you need to. Because that time you will never get back. You will never get that wasted time back. You'll never get those magical moments with your family back. You'll never get those adventures with your family in tropical paris, paradise back that you could have enjoyed had you been doing it the smart way. So I want you to capture this and utilize this so that you can start to pick up that money, put it in your pocket where it belongs. The next big risk that is a probably one of the biggest risks of not taking risks is the less risk you take, the more regret you have. At the end of your life, you're not gonna be wishing, man, I wish I hadn't taken so much risk. At the end of your life, you're going to be wishing, if anything, I wish I took more risk. I wish I risked more in love. I, I, risk, I wish I risked more of my heart with those I care about. I wish I risked more in my business to serve more people, to touch more lives, to make a bigger difference, a bigger impact in the world. I wish I worried less about my own self-preservation and I was more concerned about stepping into my highest calling and my highest potential. That's what life is about, guys. It's not about playing it safe. It's about playing full on, full blown. That's how you step into your calling. That's where you feel like you're living your purpose. Life is short. I mean, I've been in this game coaching mortgage professionals for 16 years. It feels like it's been six months. Well, maybe not, maybe six years, but it it doesn't feel like 16 years. It feels like it's just been a flicker. Don't let life pass you by. Don't live life playing it safe. If you're not living on the edge, you're taking up way too much space. Take risk strategically, boldly, intelligently. The biggest risk is playing it safe, playing it small, and going to the gunfight with a butter knife, being unequipped and ill-equipped, and wasting time, wasting your life energy. I invite you, if you want to learn how to work smart, if you want to learn how to avoid all this risk, and have a battle-tested proven plan, I invite you to go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply, book a call with me or one of my consultants, and we're gonna show you how to remove the risk of rejection from reaching out to realtors. We're gonna show you how to remove the risk of doing it the hard way, remove the risk of wasted time, energy, and money, of doing it the hard way, leaving money on the table, and put that money where it belongs. So again, I invite you to go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply and book a call. I promise you, it'll be one of the most lucid, clarifying conversations you've had in your business and your life in a very, very long time, perhaps ever. We'll show you what it really takes to create your breakthrough, what it really takes to manifest your dreams and get straight to what works. So again, mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply. Thanks thanks from uh, my heart to your heart for hanging with me. Thank you for uh, the time that you've invested in listening to my audios. I trust that you're getting value such that you're continuing to plug in and tune in now go forth take massive action bring massive positive action and energy to that action chances are you will get massive results this is doran aldana from the art of mortgage marketing podcast and again go to mortgagemarketingcoach.com forward slash apply to book your call we'll talk to you soon peace